Welcome to a new video on my uh, pneumatic hand and robotic arm combined of course um, with wrist, pivot, etc. Uh, everything fysiotechnic, almost everything real fysiotechnic with pneumatic engine driven driving the hand Two controllers driving all motors, some switches as sensors, um, programmed in Python, uh, and the program does not run on the controllers but on a Linux laptop, Fedora Linux, connected by a USB cable. Two actually, um, because there are two controllers. What did I do last time? Um, fixing the distance, um, or more appropriately, the situation between uh, the elbow and the um, winch, which is the hand pitch. And that is a stabilizing matter. What still is to be done is um, the moving of the wrist because um, this motor which moves the wrist um, is not in a stable position the wrist runs in one way correctly but not in the other way so what I want to do somehow is trying to turn the motor position with 90 degrees and see if that solves the problem but as yet that's an experimental thought because I don't even know if that's going to work so um, with a counterweight in place uh, arm pitch to make everything at uh, the whole arm go like that and the pivot to slowly turn the whole arm around um, let's see if I can get this stabilized so um, it comes down to this motor which I want to turn for 90 degrees and to show you I have created um, a program model this is the first situation with um, for now a square motor with the gear and the mounting plate is right now in this situation and what I want to do is have um, well I gave it a different color but of course I can do it just as well red and have it in this way so the chain will come like this and then how to mount, uh, mount it here in this way is still point because the arm is coming this way so if I have this plate on the other side this will be a mounting problem so I hope I can do this Anyway, um, let's see how that works out. Because I also have to remove this, this, um, and I have to uh, release the screw or the gear, so I have to remove this as well. And then see how to figure out this. Going to be a challenge, I think. But let's see. A first uh, attempt in reconstructing the motor has been done so now it is turned by 15 degrees and let me show you in this program open SCAD so this is the original position and this is the new position 
turn of 90 degrees and so this is the program to create this one and this is the program to create this one and uh, after constructing this I found a problem that or two problems actually first is that the chain is still not tight enough here it is but on the lower side it's not tight enough and this construction to ensure that this is um, connected cannot be applied again because of this so I still have to find a way to get it all done and this has to be turned 90 degrees so I, how I should um, accomplish that is another question so yeah let's see how to solve this problem all right and so I made a reconstruction and I'm using my flashlight for better view and as you can see I have flattened this part but the chain is a bottleneck it is touching the construction so although this part can now safely be applied um, it's still not working not working at all so one advantage uh, gives another disadvantage so the best solution isn't there yet um, this requires another little structural modification and some good thinking what's the solution I don't know yet okay I have tried a new approach and I hope you can see this a little bit sorry for moving the camera like that but um, this uh, construction is in place again and right now there are two, uh, two mounting blocks construction blocks here So I haven't tested it yet, but maybe, just maybe, this is a solution because right now the chain is attached um, under tension and if it ever gets back again, uh, gets weak again or um, without tension that I can pull it back. Uh, and so far I haven't put these uh, bars back on it as you can see here and here but just let's try so um, how can I best try it uh, probably by running it and the best thing that should happen then is uh, the hand because it is after all the wrist that is affected so let's run it oh come on uh, oh wait yeah true I have to change the code because I changed the library to a new version so let me just do that first Alright, so I changed the code and then of course it says the Robo interface uh, is not found uh, but uh, the diagnostic interface does work with everything applied
Um, and then it uh, doesn't work anymore. And why doesn't it work anymore? Because the whole chain has come off. And no, it's even worse. The gear has come off the motor. Okay. So much for an experiment. So the code is non-functional right now. And the diagnostics works, but the motor comes off. At least the gear comes off of the motor. Never had that before. Uh, that's an interesting one. Um, but uh, considering everything and taking it apart again, I think I'll leave that for next time. Interesting experience this. And maybe, just maybe, I should go for a solution like this, where I have a uh, warm gear applied, but um, indeed I don't have warm gears anymore, except for that. This axle is much longer than just um, this part where uh, and this one I still have to replace, but it's the connection for an axle to the motor. When I apply that here, I have to um, not just rotate the motor, but I have to change the whole axle, or, uh, the whole angle of the motor, major reconstruction, like this one here. Uh, it's in the lighting not good to see. I have to replace the camera. Um, but, um, yeah, it's not going to work despite the efforts of this time. Oops. And with this focus on a motor that in the end uh, totally comes loose as far as the gear goes with the chain, thank you for watching. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment or suggestion, very much appreciated. You can also follow me via Instagram and Twitter. And please show your support by uh, becoming a patron. And depending on the pledge, you might, uh, may have your name mentioned on my website and the video or become a co-producer. Uh, co please see my website. You can also donate via either PayPal or IBAN, which is European Banking. More information, see under this video. Um, or wait for the last segment. This is going to be continued, obviously. Uh, have a nice day, wherever you are, what time you have, whatever time it is. Stay safe. And bye-bye.